Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Craig, and welcome to the Board Game Evolution. Today in Classic Cardboard, I'm going to be talking about Milton Bradley's Thunder Road from 1986. It's a 2-4 player game for ages 10 and up. Thunder Road is a desert demolition where players are simultaneously racing and battling each other using cars and assault choppers and attempts to have the last running car or cars left on the board. So join me at the table and let's learn how to play this classic game. In the box, you will find two interlocking game boards, six dice, 12 cars, four choppers, eight black wrecked cars, and an eight page rulebook. When setting up the game, connect the two game boards, making sure that the board with the starting space icons is the first one in line. Then place one black wrecked car on each of the eight spaces marked on the game board with a red X. A black wreck is an abandoned car that will be a roadblock during the game. Each player then chooses a color and takes the three cars and chopper matching their player color. It's important to note that each of your cars has a rank on the bottom of them that will be crucial to remember throughout the game. With that being said, let me properly introduce you to the cars' names and their ranks. The two of them, the smallest of the three cars, has a rank of four. The Avenger has a rank of five. The Eliminator, the largest of the three cars, has a rank of six. And the Chaka. Now that introductions are over, each player will place their three cars on the starting space icons on the board that match their car and color. The chopper is placed in front of you, off the game board. You are now ready to play the game. To start the game, choose a player that will go first. I'll choose orange. Roll the three yellow dice. The yellow dice show how many spaces your cars can move on the board. Assign one die to each one of your cars and move that many spaces. After moving your cars, your turn is over. Each player, continuing to the left of the star player, will roll the three yellow dice and move their cars. After each player has had one turn, you can begin to attack your opponents on all following turns. But first, let's talk about how to move your cars and the rules of the road. Your cars will move within the square spaces on the board. Each square space counts as one from your die roll. A car will always move in a forward direction, either straight forward or diagonally, never any backwards movements. A car can never move through another running car, but it can occupy the same space. A maximum of two running cars can occupy a space at a time. Cars will always have to move the full amount shown on the die. So that car is assigned two, it has to move two spaces. If your car cannot move the amount shown on the die that is assigned, then it is considered blocked and it will not move for that turn. But if it's blocked by a wreck, it does have the option to crash through it. We'll talk about that in a little bit. On the board, you'll notice two types of spaces indicated by different color terrain. The lighter brown spaces are called desert spaces. The two darker spaces in the middle that are two spaces wide are called road spaces. At the start of your turn, any cars that are on a road space have the option to use the road bonus. When using the road bonus, roll the black die along with the three yellow dice. The number on the black die will be added to the yellow dice associated with each car that is currently on a road space. The same rules apply to car movement when using the road bonus, except that you cannot move off of the road when using the road bonus, and if you cannot move the full count, then you'll disregard the road bonus die and move using only the count shown on the yellow die. In this example, both the orange cars are on the road, so the road bonus die will be applied to each of their yellow dice. The only difference is this car cannot move four spaces on the road. It can only move a maximum of three spaces. One, two, three. So the road bonus die will be disregarded and it will move two spaces using the original car movement rules, which allows the car to move into desert spaces as well. Now this car can move four spaces on the road. One, two, three, four. If the pedal's to the metal and you have a wreck in your way, you have the option to crash through it. If you want to stop on a wreck by exact count or continue driving through it, you will need to roll the red die. In this example, I have a dice total of five, three from the yellow die, and two from the road bonus die. 
I want to use the road bonus, so I need to continue moving on the roadway. The object is to move through this wreck right here. If I roll a four, five, or six on the red die, I can move my five spaces down the roadway. But if I roll a one, two, or three on the red die, my car will wreck and I'll place it in the same space as the wreck I'm attempting to crash through. Let's see what happens. I rolled a five. I can crash through the wreck and move five spaces down the roadway. Since we're on the topic of the road, it's a good time to talk about a mechanic in the game called switching boards. To clarify, each board is referred to as the rear board and the lead board. When any car reaches the end of the lead board and still has movement left from the die roll, switching the game boards must happen. The rear board is removed from the lead board and any player's cars on the rear board are dumped and taken out of the game. The empty board is then linked to the opposite end of the lead board, creating a new lead board. Any of the black wrecks that were dumped are again placed in their original locations. The car that initiated this action can continue its movement on the new lead board. Now that we covered everything about the road, let's talk about the thunder. You know, as in thunder road. Thunder. <laughs> Sorry. In addition to racing, attacking your opponents is a viable option. In a successful attack, a car will become wrecked and turned upside down in its current location. The red dice will be used when attacking an opponent. There are a few different ways to attack your opponent. The first one we'll talk about is ramming. When your car lands by exact count on the space occupied by an opponent's car, you can attempt to ram their car. Both you and your opponent each roll the red die and add the number rolled to the rank value of your car. Remember, the rank value of the cars are shown on the bottom of each one. If the attacking player's total is higher than their opponent's, then it was a successful attack. Flip the car that was rammed upside down. It is now wrecked. If the opponent's total is higher or there is a tie, then both cars remain running. It's important to note that when a space is occupied by two cars, either wrecked or running, a third car cannot attempt to ram on that space. Shooting is the second option for attacking an opponent. When your car lands by exact count, one space behind your opponent in any direction, you are set to shoot at them. If there are multiple cars to shoot at, or if two cars are in the same space, announce which car is being attacked. Roll the red die, and if the number is equal to or higher than the rank value of your opponent's car, the attack is successful and the car is wrecked. If not, you missed, and the car remains running. Chopper attacks is one more option for attacking an opponent. Fly your chopper and land in the space occupied by the car you are attacking. If two cars are occupying the space your chopper lands on, you have to announce which car is being attacked. Roll the red die, and if the number rolled matches or is higher than the rank of the car being attacked, then the attack was a success and the car becomes wrecked. If the roll was lower than the value of the car being attacked, the car remains running. The chopper remains in the space after an attack. Cars can move around and through any choppers on the board. Luckily for choppers, they can never be attacked by a car, but they can be attacked by a house cat. Some additional rules to remember when using your chopper are, one, you can call in an aerial attack on an opponent's car only once on the rear board, the lead board, and any new lead board that is prepared throughout the game. If you happen to attack on the lead board first, you cannot fly backwards and attack on the rear board. Two, if all of your cars are wrecked, then your chopper cannot attack. You must have at least one running vehicle on the board to use your chopper. And three, if your chopper gets stumped as the result of the boards being switched, it can still be used in the game. Just place it back in front of you until you attack with it again. Regardless of how many wrecked cars you have on the board, you always roll three yellow dice. If you happen to roll two sixes, you could choose to repair one of your wrecked cars on the board. You cannot repair a car that was dumped off of the board. To repair a car, flip it over and it is now considered running. Assign a yellow die to each of your running cars, including the one that was just repaired, and move them as you normally would. If at any point in the game all of your cars have been dumped, you are officially out of the game. Lastly, when one player has the only running car or cars left on the game board, that player has won the game. And that's how you play Thunder Road. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy gaming.